Hey, so this is part two of a little series I'm doing about how to add glow effects to different text and objects. If you haven't seen part one, uh, click the annotation at the top and you can go and see it because it's got some good basic effects to use. And I'll be using these the effects in the first one on tutorials like this in part two and three and any other ones I do. And so I'm just going to show you the effect we're going to do in this tutorial. And this is what I used for an intro of an animation I did over the summer. Because basically I was trying to get the right style for some text. And it took ages because I couldn't find the right style. So I just downloaded some custom text and just added a bunch of effects onto it. And I'm going to show you how to add those effects right now. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need a couple of items in preparation for this. So if I open my library... We've got a static image I got off Google Images and what I've done is I put it into a movie clip and just added two frames of it moving. The second frame I've just rotated at 180 degrees to give the illusion that it's uh, doing a static effect. You could add more frames if you want to make it look a bit more uh, realistic if you want but it's not that important as long as it's got a bit of animation in it. And then next up, I just got this blue image off Google Images as well. And I liked it because the blue colour works quite well with this effect. And plus the smoke is really nice as well for it. So just something along those lines will do nicely. Okay, now I'm just going to add some text. I'm going to make the text uh, the light grey colour because that works quite nicely. And the text I'm using for this is Van Gothic. MDVT. This is a custom font I got off a free font website, so if you want to look that up, that's that'll be good. One thing I'll say is if uh, whatever text you're using, I recommend just using one with hardly any curves. Uh, make sure it's got it's a lot of straight lines like this. I mean, it's got a couple of curves on this, like on the R, but doesn't really matter, it needs to be quite like a futuristic text or just something like this, so just keep in mind when you're picking a text. I'll just align it to the middle. I'm gonna make it a little smaller actually. Okay, so I'm gonna call this text one and then oops. And then I'm just going to copy the frame, insert layer, paste it, and call this text2. Okay, so what you want to do now is just hide the text1 layer because we're going to come back to that later. And what we want to do is focus on this layer and some new layers. Okay, so I'm going to go straight onto this and add a glow effect. Just like I did in the fit in part one. Okay, so what we want to do is find quite a nice blue color for this. That one will do nicely. And go on high, and then add strength a strength of about two hundred and one, and then add blur of about eighteen. Okay. So that's that bit done. Now we're going to add a new layer in between these two and just call it animation layer if you want. Okay, I'm just going to lock these two layers and focus on this one. So, what you want to do here is you want to add your blue image. Let's put it here. I'm going to make it, I'm going to just make it into movie clip and I just want to increase the brightness a little bit so it's not so sharp it's more sort of neutral about 25 will do nicely Oops. okay then I'm going to make it into a symbol again I'm going to call it combined because 
what I'm going to do is on that layer in the symbol is going to be the blue image and then on this one what's like this I'm going to bring in the static movie clip I was talking about just move it right here I'm going to increase the size a little bit because it's a little bit smaller than that image that will do nicely now obviously if I'm going to leave it like this you won't be able to see the blue image so I just want to uh, go on properties and adjust the alpha and yeah I just want it yeah about 36 will do nicely alright great so I'm going to go back to the scene and we've pretty much done it now all you need to do is just go to text one and go on mask and if I just publish it you pretty much got the effect right there now another thing we need to do is to animate the effect but before we can animate I'm gonna have to quickly convert this to a symbol because we're gonna be animating it and before I do that I'm just gonna quickly take this opportunity to reduce the strength a tiny bit on this there we go and now I'm just going to convert it into movie clip great now I can just create classic tween on all of those frames copy them paste them on about frame 30 if you want about a second of animation and now I'm just going to select all these and reduce the alpha to zero And then I'm just going to have about a few, well, about that many frames of it just staying there. And then I'm just going to copy these frames and put them on here. I'm just going to test it out. Now you can see the effect in motion. It works nicely. And before I finish, there's one other thing I should show you as well if you want to uh, do some more work on the effect. I'm just going to select the frames on the animation layer and just delete them all except frame 1. I'm just going to hide these two as well. I'm just going to make the alpha 100 again. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to drag this up a bit and I'm just going to make one frame over here and just drag it down again. So I just want it to constantly be moving down. If you want to add ease on this animation, you can, but it's not that important because it's just a, it's just going to be a static effect. And then what I'm going to do now is just add in the keyframes there, make this zero again. That's a hundred, and then make this one zero again. Let's see that. So now you can see that the static is moving down, which makes it look a bit more interesting. And you can apply this to, it doesn't have to be static, it could be anything, like if you want to make sort of a matrix type effect with the numbers, you could definitely do that with some glow effects, that will probably look quite nice as well. And uh, just uh, have a go at it and see what you can make, and just go through a few symbols, uh, change them around. But uh, I hope this has helped, I'll make part three soon, so if you want to see more like this, please subscribe.